The language may have been new yesterday, bottom-up, straight-talking and all the rest of it, but what does it actually mean in practice? What happens if the new Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn can't agree with his MPs on a big issue? Who wins? Who does get to set the line? The answer in the end this morning was somewhat surprising and may make waves. This is creative democracy. I've been elected on a... It might also be chaos with no, respect. No, 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 don't mistake creativity for chaos. Well, I'm not, but you do have to have policies. You have to have a line. You have to have a, you know, your parliamentary party, uh, in some sense, on the same page as you. I mean, how else would you govern? Well, look, I've appointed a shadow cabinet, knowing full well the differences of opinion within that shadow cabinet. Is that unusual? Is that wrong? Am I a dictator? No. Are we going to come to a point of view and a consensus? Yeah, we will. We'll do our best to. There may well be occasions when there are pretty fundamental differences of opinion. But if you take nuclear weapons, for example, all of us want to live in a nuclear-free world. All of us want to see no increase in the number well, of nuclear warheads around the world. You want to scrap Trident and they don't. I know. We come, up, we come on to that. I will put that point of view forward. There will be a serious detailed, deep discussion, both with those... Are you happy to lose then? Would you concede to them and say, OK, let's renew Trident? Well, my views on nuclear weapons are very well known. I have a strong moral objection to nuclear weapons. I've made that very clear throughout all of my life, but... So that say, must be no, the policy. No, but I'm just trying to get to the point, the bottom of whether you or you can... If I can persuade the whole of the Labour Party to come round to my point of view, I would be very, very happy indeed. I will do my best. And if you can't, you'll live with it? If I can't, we'll live with it somehow. That is interesting. Very, very interesting. Will that be seen as a grown-up Democrat in action or a man forced to compromise his principles for power, like so many others? Discuss.